Triple Nickel Niner here with a quick uh, shop update. If you watched my last video, my last vlog, I'm going to make this actually shop vlog number two, probably. Um, I've been updating the tool wall. I've been updating my updating my shop and updating my uh, first order of retrieval, um, which what I call like my cockpit. This is like my section here that tools are quickly accessed and I don't have to hunt for tools. Um, one of the main things I wanted to add was my, was the availability of wrenches and sockets. And that was metric and standard <clears throat> disclaimer. I'm right now using what I have as far as tools are concerned. I'm just getting tools from across my shop uh, that are maybe tucked in a drawer or at another drawer somewhere in putting them here. I'm not buying really necessarily any new tools uh, per se, but I am going through what I have and adding it to what I need. Why I didn't do that a long time ago, I don't know. But um, it's just that's just how shops evolve. That's just how we that's just how we do things in shops. Sometimes we're working on projects and we say, "Oh, I need this." And one of my big pet peeves is hunting for tools. I cannot stand chasing tools around and hunting for tools. So I want tools at my disposal immediately as fast as possible. And so, um, again, I didn't have any availability to any metric wrenches or sockets on my bench. They were all either tucked in a drawer over there or down here. And now I'm getting that taken care of. Obviously I want to go quarter inch drive and I want to go three eighths drive. Uh, I think much bigger than three eighths drive. That's probably first another, another bench or something. That's, I don't think I'll need to go any bigger than that, but, um, and, and if I do, then I can adapt later on, but just, um, over the years that what I've had available to me here at my workbench is this little itty bitty Husky set. And sadly it's just standard. It is just quarter inch drive. I do have a larger uh, 3 8 drive uh, set, but I typically use that for my portability. If I want to go someplace else, um, I kind of keep that to where I can grab and take into the house or take out into the yard. And, and it doesn't even have deep sockets in it. It's just a regular socket set. So um, typically I go for this because um, mainly what I do in my shop is just small tasks. I'm not doing anything super, you know, I'm not putting an engine in a vehicle or anything like that. I'm just, this is more of a, a maker shop, a tinker shop. So I'm not doing much bigger than a quarter inch drive, three eighths. Now, you know, that's, that's getting up there for me. So, uh, you know, your mileage may vary. You may set up your, uh, workstation and you may want half inch drive, you know? So, uh, again, um, but I'll kind of show you, it's still the, 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 the cockpit, the, the workbench is still a little bit of a mess, but I'm still, fine-tuning things and I'm and I'm waiting to see what I want and don't want um, and how to ob obtain those tools. So what I did today was, well, actually the other day I ordered from Amazon, I ordered this and um, not a paid advertisement. I'm just recommending this product to you, but this is a, I don't know if you can see it or not, adjust, camera adjust. It is a work pro uh, this is the quarter inch drive um, metric magnetic socket holder. Very cool. Uh, 10 bucks, Amazon. Check it out. Uh, they have all different types of styles. Obviously, you can get the red for the standard. You can get uh, 3 8 quarter inch drive, whatever you want. Sky's the limit as far as what you're wanting in this. But very, very cool. Uh, deep socket in the back and small in the front, and I'm missing, out of all what I can find in my shop, I'm missing three, I'm missing a 14, and a couple of little, little guys, so I'll have to, I'll have to, you know, upgrade those later on, but um, very, very cool, and I'm going to show you where it's going to sit. One thing I want to mention before I show you where it's sitting, when I built this little addition, this little slanted uh, board on my workbench, um, one of the things I did not do, I did not add a shelf in the back and I always regretted that. I'm always like, man, if I had a shelf back there, then I could put things on top. And finally the other day, I'm like, you know what? 
let me see what I can do. And I literally just laid two two by fours I already had just laying around the shop in the back. And it has expanded my space and expanded my availability for items. So I'll show you what I got going on here. So just the simple addition of a couple of two by fours back behind my my workbench or cockpit area here that I have on my on my bench. Talk about a game changer. I don't know why I didn't do that years ago. I've had this board up here at least at least two years. And you know I just I put it together with two by fours and why I didn't add those boards in the back is beyond me. But um, now this is where this is the home for the the new metric uh, socket holder. I do have these older ones um, I think I'm later down the road, I'm going to retire those with these. These are a lot nicer. These obviously just don't have the, um, they're Mod Podge random sockets. I didn't have enough deep sockets to fill it. And I do have a metric over on that side right there. And I do have this and they are 3H drive, but eventually I will upgrade to all of these. And the bench really hasn't changed much other than that. Upgrading takes time. Upgrading takes time. And I'm still trying to toy with what exactly I want on my board. I think what I'm going to do is one of the things. I'm going to buy another one of these screwdriver holders. Or wrench holders. For these in blue. But I'm gonna make I'm gonna get one that can hold the other extra sizes. So this holder will go away. I'll keep the wrenches here, and they will line up uh, down the way to where I can add the sizes that go past. Well, I have a six down here, so I want to go down as as far as I can go. I want all sizes that I can get that 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 I have available to me here on my bench in a holder. I don't want to do anything weird as far as hooking it somewhere or magnetic. I love these magnetic strips and they're great, but as you can see, tools just tend to get disheveled and just become a mess in certain aspects. And, you know, part of that, yeah, it's me because I'm kind of messy, uh, but um, things fall off. You know, like I had a knife up here earlier that like this knife, obviously this is a mess up here, but this knife earlier fell off. So, the magnetic boards I'm going to keep, but um, not maybe in this application. I'm still looking for some other um, applications to hold other things. I want um, a holder for some ratchets, and I, I don't know if they're going to mount here or mount up here or on the actual tool wall. I don't know yet, but still trying to work. Still trying to work that out. That said, I just wanted to make a quick video show you, you know, how I'm updating and upgrading and just constantly trying to think of ways that I can make my workspace better and make things more available to me. That way I don't have to dig through drawers and I, when I'm working, I can keep that workflow. I can keep the, uh, I don't have to stop and go look for something. It's just right here. And I'm trying to cover all my bases. So I have a good set of screwdrivers on this board. Uh, I, I'm i building up my, my sockets on this board. Um, I have a lot of random sockets in random places, but they are mainly in my Craftsman um, mechanic style uh, toolbox. And those are great, I think, if you're a mechanic. Um, I'm not a mechanic. They're nice to put your tools in, lock things, and but they are kind of hard to work out of, and you really need to have them organized. They're just not for me. I I I, I use mine. I have things. I have tools in there. I utilize mine, but I want the way I want everything set up. I want. I I have a hard time. Uh, I don't. I don't know if it's ADD. I don't know if it's just me not paying attention. Brain fog. I don't know what it is. But I need my tools in front of me. I need everything in front of me to, so I can see. And that's just how I work. That's just, I think that's one of the better ways to work. I can, I can look at my tool board and I know what I have and I don't have to hunt through a drawer somewhere. Put it down in the comic.
comments. How do you like to work? How, how, how are you setting up your tool bench? Are there things that you want to change in, in your tool bench? Just let me know and, and, uh, and how you feel about it. Well, I think I'm going to call it a night on this one. So it's a very short vlog, but, um, again, it's just me just, uh, bouncing ideas out there to you guys and showing you what I'm doing to improve my shop. You know, it's sh garages and shops like, like this, uh, like mine and, and even makers are just like moving targets. We just don't know what we need when we need it. And I think that's why I like setting this up differently, um, now because, over the years, I've learned what I need in my in my area, and I've always kind of just dealt with like, oh, my tools that I want are over here in this drawer, or a, a socket I need is over here in this drawer, and I finally just, I just finally gave up, and I'm like, I've got to make some sort of a change here, and so hopefully, um, here in the next month or two, this, uh, my my tool rack, my cockpit will be all upgraded and it'll be fully functional and I'll have everything that I want at my disposal at a moment's notice. Also, I will be working eventually on my tool board at the bottom of my workbench. Oftentimes I sit on my bucket down here and I work on things and I don't like getting up and getting down and getting up and getting down to grab tools. So I'm going to put some spare tools on a moving, um, tool wall uh, that will almost be like a, a, a sliding door here underneath my workbench. I've got some of the lumber that I'm going to use uh, here in the shop. I've already kind of sized things up, but I just got to figure out the rolling system. So I'm seriously thinking about doing like uh, rollerblade wheels or something like that. I've looked them up on Amazon. They're not super expensive. I think they sell them at Walmart. So, but anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll catch you next time. Triple Nickel Niner, out.